It is important to establish what MVA equipment you have in your clinic and read the instructions to understand infection control procedures. All instruments designed for multiple use must be highly ever disinfected or sterilized prior to first use and after each procedure. Check whether the equipment is sterile on arrival or if any part of it needs processing. The recommended procedure for instrument processing starts with a decontamination soak. Following the procedure, reusable equipment should be kept wet until they are cleaned. If the contaminants dry, they will be hard to remove. A recommended decontamination solution is a 0.5% chlorine solution. Aspirators must be disassembled before cleaning and further processing. This includes removal of the plunger o-ring. Detachable adapters used with flexible carbon cannula must be removed from the device. Use detergent in warm water to wash all the surfaces inside and out carefully. Soap should be avoided because it can leave a residue. Do not use any sharp objects to clean the equipment, as this can damage the parts, increasing the risk of the device losing vacuum. After cleaning multiple use devices, they must undergo high-level disinfection or sterilization between patients, so they are safe to use for another procedure. There are several sterilization options for the equipment, which are recommended by the manufacturer's instructions. Assure that local guidelines follow those instructions. Option 1. Steam autoclaved at 121 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes can be used for IPAS MVA plus aspirator and adapters only. Place the disassembled part on lining or paper or other appropriate autoclave compatible pouch that has a biological indicator. This pouch allows steam to penetrate all surfaces. Do not let the parts touch within the pouch and ensure that any openings of the equipment are not obstructed. Do not use this method for the single valve aspirator. This is not suitable for autoclave. Option two, it can only be used for IPAS MVA plus aspirator and adapters. Completely immerse the disassembled parts in Sporex 2 or the equivalent for six hours. Read the manufacturer's instructions when to discard the solution. This may be done by using results from the Sporex test vials. Option three, sterilization may be used for all multiple use devices. The disassembled parts are completely immersed in 2% glutaraldehyde solution for 10 hours or Cydex. For high-level disinfection, the following methods can be used for the IPAS MVA Plus aspirator and adapters. They can be boiled for 20 minutes. The parts do not need to be fully immersed, but they do need to be completely disassembled. Alternatively, the parts can be completely immersed in Sporox 2 for 30 minutes. Read the manufacturer's instruction on when to discard the solution. This may be done through using results from the Sporox test vials. For all methods, the manufacturer's instructions should be followed. When using chemical processing agents, take necessary precautions such as using personal protective equipment as recommended. For reassembly of the IPAS AVA Plus, place the valve liner in position inside the valve. By aligning the internal ridges, close the valve until it snaps into place. Snap the cap into place on the end of the valve. For reassembly of the single valve aspirator, attach the button to the clamp and insert into the valve. With the valve button open, push and twist the valve liner through the valve into position. Put the cylinder into the base of the valve. Do not twist the cylinder into the valve when assembling, as this will cause the liner to dislodge and may lead to device failure. Place the plunger or ring into the groove at the end of the plunger and lubricate it by spreading one drop of lubricant around the O-ring with a fingertip. Plunger O-rings must be lubricated when they are assembled to function properly. Non-sterile silicone is provided with the aspirator. 
Aspirators do not need to remain in a state of high-level disinfection or sterilization at the time of use. All dry instruments should be stored at room temperature in a clean, dry container protected from external contamination. If there is any doubt uh, this level of storage is effective, then the instrument should be reprocessed before next use. When aspirators are processed using the recommended methods, they are expected to last for up to 25 uses. They should be discarded at this time. They must be discarded and replaced at any time if they become brittle, cracked, broken, if there are mineral deposits that inhibit the plunger movement, if the valve parts become cracked, bent or broken, or if there is any suspicion that the aspirator no longer holds the vacuum.